This weekend, I'm flying all the way to Cape Town to compete in the Cape Town Cycle Tour. Now, the Cape Town Cycle Tour, it's 109 kilometers around the Cape Peninsula, but they have introduced a new one this year for its 42 kilometers. And I may end up switching that to that because I've been sick this entire week and I'm like only starting to feel better now. But yeah, so today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. I'm going to pretty much pick it up straight after school, driven to the airport, and we're gonna fly all the way to Cape Town. So Cape Town, here I come. I questions about my sister. So we arrived in Cape Town and pretty much went straight to bed. And then we woke up and I had a decision to make. But before I tell you what I decided, I would like you to tell you guys about Help House a Teacher. Now Help House a Teacher, it's a thing where the goal is to pay for money to house teachers teaching at a rural South African school. And uh, one of our goals in writing was actually to raise money for this. So if you have any money that you would be willing to donate, please do think about donating to this course. Now, uh, if you do want to donate, the website that you should go to is backabuddy.co.za slash house a teacher. Or if you are a normal human being, go to the description and click on the link. Yeah, I don't think anyone ever listens to the YouTube and then puts it in. If you do that, you're a weird. But anyway, here is what I decided. Guys, I've made a decision. I've decided that um, I'm young and I'm going to get lots of chances to do it again. So I'm going to just, I'm going to switch to the half, the 42 kilometer one. I'm going to ride with my sister who is doing the 42 kilometer one. So it's going to be a bit easier. Hopefully I'll make it. I probably will. Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. Time to go to the expo. Now, you might not be completely sure what the expo is, but it's the place where you go to get, like, your race number and stuff like that. So we went there, and then after that, we went to our friends who live in Cape Town's house for pretty much the rest of the day. Then we went home, had dinner, got all our gear ready for the next morning, and went to bed. Good night. Good morning. Time to get ready. Me and my sister only really started at 10.06, so we got to get ready slower, but then at like 9 o'clock, we went to the cycle to a start and joined the vibe hearing people the last starters for the 109 and them starting hearing music and then at about just before 10 we got into our shoot and we could hear the first people ever to start the 42 begin and then at 10.06 we started and we rode there were some big hills but it was really fun um so it's pretty much you go straight out and then you turn around and you come back and about at the turnaround point I started getting this headache but luckily after like 5 or 10 k's I went away and I got to properly enjoy the ride and we managed to finish. I am still really proud of us and it was just really fun. There were people cheering us on, there was weather, it was beautiful that weather. Mm. I really hope it's like that next year when I attempt to do the 109. Yeah, definitely going to try do it next year. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll be all for now. Now, uh, stay tuned next year because I will either be attempting the 109, which will be really cool, and that's really fun. I'll be really proud of myself. Or even cooler, I'll be attempting to compete in the 72 kilometer under 17s race. Don't you think that'd be cool? 
I think would be. It will be my last chance to compete in any of the under age categories. Not under under age. That sounds wrong. But any of those categories. So that's why I think I might do it depending on how much I train and how I'm there. But anyway, that's all for now. How about you watch me flying home from Cape Town as an outro?